Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Given the situation is the function f and g are defined by fx is equal to 1 plus 2 multiplied with exponent x. And the function of gx is equal to ln bracket x minus 1 over 2. A. Show that the function fx is 1 to 1 function. So where we have the f x sub 1 is equal to f x sub 2. So meaning that, substitute the x sub 1 and x sub 2 into the function fx. So where we will have 1 plus 2 multiplied with the exponent x sub 1 equals to 1 plus 2 multiplied with the exponent x sub 2. So we can simplify the situation and we will have 2 multiplied with exponent x sub 1 equals to 2 multiplied with the exponent x sub 2. Then, we can divide by 2 and we will have e to the power of x sub 1 equals to e to the power of f sub 2. So compare the situation and we will have x sub 1 equals to x sub 2. So show that the function of fx is 1 to 1 function because x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2. B. Find the f row g, then g row f. After that, state the relation of f and g. So kindly focus on the left hand side, f row g. So where we need to substitute the function g, which is ln bracket x minus 1 over 2 into the function of f. So we will have 1 plus 2 exponent with ln bracket x minus 1 over 2. So as we all know, the exponent ln will obtain 1. So 1 plus 2 multiply with x minus 1 over 2. Simplify the situation. 1 plus x minus 1. And we will have f rho g is equal to x. Next, focus on g rho f. We have to substitute the function of fx, which is 1 plus 2 multiplied with exponent x, into the function of g. So ln bracket, substitute the value of x with 1 plus 2 multiplied with exponent x minus 1 over 2. So and simplify the situation and we will have 2 exponent x over 2. Rewrite the situation, ln bracket exponent x. So as we all know, ln e is equal to 1 and the x we can bring forward. So g rho f is equal to x. So notice that f rho g is equal to g rho f and it is equal to x. So from here we can say it, the function for fx and the gx are inverse to each other. So in other words, the f inverse actually is equal to gx and for the g inverse actually is equal to fx c state the domain and range for f and g so in here for the function fx 1 plus 2 exponent x the domain for the f would be negative infinity until infinity where the negative infinity and infinity is not included because the situation is exponent x and that will be the domain. For the function gx, we have ln bracket x minus 1 over 2. In order to find the domain for gx, the internal function must be 
greater than 0. Then we have x minus 1 greater than 0. Finally, x greater than 1. So the domain for g will be equals to 1 until infinity where 1 is not included. Kali refers to b, the relation of f and g. Since f and g are inverse to each other, so meaning that the domain for f actually is equals to the range for g. The domain for g actually is equals to range for f. So in here, the range for f will be 1 until infinity, where 1 is not included, and the range for g would be negative infinity until infinity, where the negative infinity and the infinity is not included. On the same axis, sketch the graph of f and its inverse. So means that it is a g. So now what we have to do is have the axis. So now we are going to focus on the function fx where we have 1 plus 2 multiplied with exponent x. So as we all know, the domain for the f will be negative infinity until infinity, where the negative infinity and infinity is not included. So first, I'm going to sketch the graph for fx. So first, we have y is equal to exponent x. So basically, the graph will be like this, where we have the intersection point 1, and the asymptote is equal to 0. Next, the situation is multiplied by 2. We will have the same graph, just that the value of intersect will be come 2, and the asymptote is still the same, 0. Next, we have to add on 1. So now, meaning that the graph have to shift upward for 1 unit. So, previously, the asymptote is y equals to 0. Now, the asymptote become y equals to 1 because the graph has been shift upward for one unit. The points of intersection is 2, so it will upgrade become 3. So, the graph will be like this. So, that is the basic for the fx. So now what we have to do is to sketch the graph on the xy axis, the asymptote, which is y equals to 1. Then the graph will intercept at 3. So here we will have 0, 3 for the graph fx equals to 1 plus 2 multiply with exponent x. Next, what we have to do is to sketch the inverse, which is the g. So by using the reflection method, as we all know, we have to flip the situation. For example, when y equals to 1 is the asymptote, if we reflect the situation, it will become x equals to 1. So here we have x equals to 1. Next, focus on the point 0, 3. If we reflect the situation, the value and x, y will interchange. So in here, we have 1, 2, and then 3, 0. So the graph for the exponent will be ln. So Kylie refers to the function g, where we have ln. So the graph for ln will be something like this. So that will be the graph for gx, ln bracket x minus 1 over 2. Basically, we have the reflection axis where we have y is equals to x. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.